Welcome back, Masters and Princesses, to another episode of Made News Network. I'm your host, SJ Nix, and today we have a breaking news gate for you. About 24 hours late, but work gets in the way, and if I sound a little funny, I'm getting over a cold, so bear with me on that. But we got yesterday something that a lot of us have been expecting and waiting for for a long time, and that is the announcement and release of Konami's very own PRS signature model. Some of us knew about this a few days ago when PRS Japan had their little in-person event. Uh, They debuted it then, but asked that they keep it quiet until it was officially announced. But here we are. It is a gorgeous instrument. There are only 200 of these worldwide. And right now we're going to take a look at the body and the specs, talk about where you can get it and anything else that we have at this point right now, but jump right into it. See this picture here? These are going to be the specs for this guitar. So starting with the neck, phase three locking tuners with black wing buttons, pretty standard on a uh, signature series model. The Paul Reed Smith signature inlay. And the first little special thing we have is going to be our truss rod cover. And it has the lightning bow right on top of it. Tells you right away exactly uh, what it is. It's obviously a band made guitar. Uh, Moving down the neck, we have something that is not unheard of, but it is pretty rare for a PRS. These are the stylized brush strokes bird inlays. Really cool looking, gives it a little elegance that uh, it wouldn't normally have with the regular bird inlays. The regular inlays are great, but these are just a little something different to uh, personalize this for her. <clears throat> Moving over to, uh, well, staying on the neck actually. So the shape is a pattern thin, smaller hands, uh, a little thinner neck, uh, and a little rounder. That's the kind of way I like them. All my guitars, I prefer to be baseball bats. I don't like big fat chunky necks like you get on a like on a regular fender strap uh onto the body uh the first really cool thing about this is going and you're going to notice it right away is the quilted maple top uh that quilted maple as opposed to like a flame maple you get these ripples and it almost looks and with this color it kind of looks like uh you're looking into a pond or the ocean with the water uh moving around in the sunlight is really, really cool looking top. The official color is a Trampus green smoke burst. Uh, sure. <laughs> that's a, that's a really long name for a color, but it looks amazing on this guitar. Uh, these are, these are going to be, as you find with the, uh, with this model of guitar, you get the eight eighty five fifteen pickups, uh, not a PRS guy, so I can't go into the details of this, but I know one thing about those pickups, especially with the selector switches that you see in the controls, gives you a lot of flexibility with how you use those pickups. You can break them up in single coil, double, uh, front, back, uh, You know your, your bridge pickup, your neck pickup, combination. A lot of versatility with this pickup setup. So officially, so the controls, volume with tone, three-way toggle, pickup switch and two mini toggle coil tap switches. So those coil tap switches is what we talked about. You can use use the whole pickup or just half the pickup. That's what lets you control that. And moving on to the back, uh, the back wood is mahogany. I would imagine that the majority of this body is mahogany and then the, uh, the quilted maple is just the overlay on top. Seems to be the case, which with PRS, you wouldn't want a whole, a full body of quilted maple. It'd be retardedly expensive. And honestly, I don't know how structurally sound that would be, to be perfectly honest, either. And the piece de resistance on the back of this guitar is the back plate, and it is hand-signed by Konami. That doesn't surprise me. That is super cool and makes this, obviously, it personalizes it. Uh, That's like the cherry on top of the sundae for this, making it a Konami guitar. Uh, I'm going to put up a few pictures here from the event that Peter took when he, uh, at the... uh, PRS event. Anyways, beautiful guitar. Now I mentioned earlier up front that there's only 200 of these worldwide. That is true. The retail price on these in the U.S. is just a few dollars under six thousand dollars. It's like fifty nine eighty, and depending on where you're at, is going to be sales tax. Me, I'm in California. 
it came in at just a little under $6,600. Uh, really expensive, but only $500 more than you would expect to pay for a regular, uh, a regular uh, signature series custom like this. So all in all, not bad. So I guess for $500, you're getting a Konami signature on this guitar and some of her personalizations. <clears throat> Nothing to complain about. Now, the other thing about this, uh, this went on sale at midnight Japanese time yesterday, which is about 7 a.m. ish Pacific time, if I remember correctly. Uh, by three in the afternoon, most of them were already sold, which is crazy to me. As of right now, when you're watching this and I'm recording it's at 6.30 a.m. the day after it was released, I don't know that you can find one in the U.S. right now. Uh, I was lucky enough. I got mine at Sweetwater. Uh, I know for a fact I got that because I spoke to the rep. Uh, I don't know what my number was, but I know that uh, they had 18 of them total. They accidentally sold 19 of them, so they're kind of hoping that someone... Uh, backs out of the first 18 uh, but they they took it off their website if you go there now it shows it's uh that it's sold out and that they're only leaving it up there for reference purposes if you go to guitar center or musician's friend which apparently is actually the same company now i guess guitar center brought musician's friend several years ago it will show that it's on back order you're not going to get one of those from that location because, uh, again, talking to them, uh, I know people who have bought them, they were told the Guitar Center only had four total for the entire Guitar Center chain, which is absolutely crazy to me. I don't know how that would be considering they're as big as they are. And I know they move PRSs, but they only had four. And in my personal little group, I know people who supposedly bought three of those four. I find it really hard to believe that my little group was able to grab three of the four available ones on their website. It says back ordered. We will let you know when it comes back available. That's probably not going to happen. It seems like these were allocated pretty quickly and sold as fast. Um, the la number 18 from Sweetwater sold at two little before three, a few minutes before three o'clock and number 19 sold at 305. And that's when they pulled it down off the website. I looked this morning at uh, some of the bands that are, or some, sorry, some of the music stores that are listed on PRS's site as being signature series dealers. Some of those, of those ones that have websites and have it listed show that it's already sold because they got one, maybe two of those. I'm sure there's still some out there, but this is going to be a true where's Waldo uh, kind of hunt for one of these. So if you've got the scratch uh, to get one of these right now and you're ready to pull the trigger on it, I highly suggest you get moving. If you wait another 24 hours, you're going to be really hard pressed to find one of these in the U S you may be lucky and find one in Japan. Uh, these went crazy. I'm I'm shocked. I'm glad I didn't wait. I really waffled back and forth whether I was going to pull the trigger on this or not. Um, but I got mine just uh, according to my receipt at 9.45 a.m. yesterday. Uh, I'm glad I didn't wait because I probably wouldn't be getting one this morning. Anyways, this is a breaking news gate. I'm going to wrap this up because I'm still sick. Uh, if you want one of these, I highly suggest that you move on this immediately. Like stop what you're doing and start making phone calls to see if you can find one. Uh, these are disappearing instantly. So those of you who got one already, tell me down in the comments, where did you get it from? Uh, did you get any type of deal on it, which is highly unlikely? Uh, oh, one last thing on this. I guess the expected delivery is December into early January. Uh, I'm getting mixed signals on that. Sweetwater was telling me as early as a week or two from now, which doesn't sound right because I believe on their website, on PRS website, it says that delivery would be January or late December, early January. I guess we'll all find out together. And of course, when mine comes in, we'll do a nice unboxing video, do a complete cover. We'll go over the guitar front to back, plug it in, play a little bit, see how it sounds going to sound amazing. I already know it's going to sound amazing. PRS doesn't make crap, especially at this level. 
So with that, I am going to wrap it up for today. This has been a breaking news gate for the brand new Konami Signature Series PRS. If you got one, fantastic. If you want one, get to looking. And we will see you next time on Made News Network. Bye.